Our first male soloist is Fernando Diaz del Rio Soto from Spain. And the theme of his routine is the enigma of having a double from another part of the world. And unlike the mixed duet, the elements are the same as the technical female solos. Fernando chose this music because he feels he can reach us with his elegance and plasticity. Our first element, you can see that Fernando has very high rockets, very flexible, showcasing those splits. You know, he's a very young athlete, and he hasn't been in artistic swimming very long at all. He comes from swimming, and I just find it astounding that his musicality and extension and flexibility is, is so advanced. Obviously, he's great in the water, but he is just Our such a fantastic element. athlete. Yeah, you can see that he's going to stay in this sport for a long time, and he's going to yes. go very far. Yes, I'm excited to see what his future holds. So in this event, it's every athlete's first time representing their country in solo because, again, this is the first male solo event in World Series history. Exactly right. And these male athletes are making history. And they're very good. And I think seeing these athletes at these events is really going to help our sport grow and intrigue more men to join the sport of artistic swimming. Our very last element, the thrust followed by two spins. That might be under review, Christina, because he, it was questionable whether he made those spins. Yeah, I agree. Again, it's such a hard element for, for everybody. Everybody exactly. really struggles with that element. That's, that's just, our risk factor. And that's yeah, what is great about things. our sport. It's yeah. becoming more athletic, more risk. And even though he might not have made those two spins, it still showed him as a very strong athlete. So there actually was a penalty. So unfortunately, he got a zero for that element, and his total score is 68.54.